Electric and its dealers from coast to coast take you now to Vancouver, British Columbia for the British Empire and Commonwealth Games. From Lord Bing Gymnasium, the final event in the fencing schedule. At the moment, in the ladies' individual foil, the only event in which the ladies took part, incidentally, England took first place, England took second place, and Wales was third. In the team Sabre, Canada was first, England was second, and Australia was third. Up to this moment, New Zealand and South Africa have not placed in any event. Krasa of Canada is fencing at the moment with his back, or rather was fencing with his back to the camera, and Hamburg of England is on the far side. <laughs> Again, our scene has shifted, and this time to Exhibition Forum in Vancouver. And the story this night is boxing. The finals in the final night. The moment we're watching the heavyweight bout between Buchanan of Canada. He's the fair-haired boy with his back to the camera at the present time. And Harper of England. This has been a seesaw battle in the first two rounds, and anything can and probably will happen. The boy's telling him to break it up, get in there, and fight it out. in the boxing finals, and this is the last night at Exhibition Forum in Vancouver. This is your lineup for the 440 yards relay for men. England's number one, Jamaica number two, Nigeria number three, Australia number four, Canada five, and Pakistan six. There they go, each man a quarter of a mile. There's the exchange, perfect in every case except one. Canada is running number one at the moment, Pakistan second and Australia is third. Canada continues to be number one. Canada in lane number five. There's the exchange, and Canada continues. With Jamaica coming strong in the middle. It's going to be Canada, and it's a tight finish. Maybe not, maybe not. Gee, that was a beautiful finish. The Canadian boys have gone out and mobbed their anchorman. Unofficial time, 41 and 2 tenths seconds. And I don't know, let's wait for the official result on that one before we say one more word. Now we have coming up the 440-yard relay final for women. Australia in lane one, England in lane two, and Canada in lane number three. Wallace is the number one girl for Australia. Ashley for England, and Squires for Canada. There they go. Each girl 110 yards. Australia on the inside lane, England in the middle, and Canada on the outside. The pass of the baton successful in every case. The little English lady, Heather Joy Armitage, is pulling away into a slight lead as they pass again. Running number three for England is Shirley Ann Burgess, and she's moving out. But this Australian gal is coming up on the inside, and no wonder that's Winsome Cripps. 
Now watch Mrs. Jackson Nelson go on the inside. Look at that gal travel. Mrs. Marjorie Jackson Nelson on the inside, winning it for Australia. With England second and Canada third in the unofficial time, 46 and 8 tenths seconds. This, incidentally, is a new event on the British Empire Games activities. The world record is 46-3, set by an Australian team two years ago. And today, well, Mrs. Marjorie Jackson Nelson, the lady who says she's about to retire from active competition, is certainly going out in a whole great big blaze of glory. One mile relay for men, a quarter of a mile apiece. There they go. And as they move around the track, the starting blocks are immediately cleared by officials. Other contestants will take their place to pick up the baton. Six teams competing. Gold Coast on the inside, then England, then Australia. Kenya, Canada, and Jamaica. England and Canada running 1-2 at this moment. And very well, too. A tight finish on the first quarter, the pass of the baton, and the cut-in by one of the Canadian boys into the pole. And that was Clement, who did the cut-in, is running now in front of his English rival. There are three men then bunched for second, for third, fourth, and fifth, and the Australian team is way in the back. Canada and England still running, one and two. Clement is the man out in front for Canada. England moving to the fore now. Into the lead of about five yards. Baton pass, and they get away. Kenya is running in third position at the moment. And man, that boy from, I believe it is Jamaica, is putting on one of the most tremendous prints we've ever seen. Into third position, but can he hold it? That's what everybody wants to know. England and Canada, one, two at this moment. Terry Tobacco will run the last lap, and it's going to be tight at this finish. You can see how close they are. Two or three yards at the most. Terry Tobacco takes it away for Canada, makes the touch, and the Canadian boy goes down to the cinders, who ran the third lap. Tobacco is about uh, ten yards behind his English competitor, Australia has come from nowhere and is now third. Higgins is the man for England, running the last lap, and Tobacco is taken out after him as they go around the last turn. It is England number one, Canada number two, Australia number three, in one of the best track events we have seen all afternoon in a day that has just been fraught with drama and thrills and chills and everything you'd want. These are closing ceremonies at Empire Stadium. The last few moments of ceremony as we close the 1954 edition of the British Empire and the Commonwealth Games. The last event has been run. The last jump has been jumped. We now come to our closing ceremony. That very fact, I am sure, to most of us, introduces a note of sadness. For the part is to lose something. But on the other hand, I can assure you 
that the memories we have collected during these past two weeks will last and will not fade away. These have been great gains, great in size, great in the standard of performance, and best of all, great in spirit. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I express our gratitude to Canada and to Canadians, and in particular to Vancouver and to the people of Vancouver, whose charming hospitality has overwhelmed us all. We shall never forget it, and we can only offer you our heartfelt thanks. It will be lowered to the accompaniment of the roll of drums by the band of the Royal Canadian Corps of Signals. Acknowledgement, hand the flag to the chairman of the British Empire and the Commonwealth Games Federation, Sir Arthur Porrett. And while this is being carried out, the Union Jack will be hoisted to the central victory flagpole. I have uh, attended these games as a spectator. One of the many thousands who have watched the efforts of organizers and athletes with appreciation and delight. So before these games are closed, may I, on behalf of all the spectators and all those who have followed the progress of these games, say a word of thanks uh, to those hardworking people who have made all this possible. And to the athletes, who have come from all over the Commonwealth and Empire to compete here in the true spirit of sportsmanship. And that is not always as easy as it sounds. This is the second time Canada has been host to these games. And once again, Canada has lived up to our reputation for warm hospitality. The next meeting will be in Wales, where I can promise that the athletes of the Commonwealth and Empire will receive an enthusiastic welcome, as any New Zealander will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you have often been told that we are a family of nations. Now, I am sure that every one of you who lived in the athlete's village will be able to go home and say that you know we are a family of nations. <laughs> Your friendly rivalry here has drawn every one of Her Majesty's realms and territories closer together. We, the spectators, thank you and we wish you and the people you represent a happy and a prosperous future. Now the chairman of the Federation will declare the games closed. In the name of the British Empire and Commonwealth Games Federation, I proclaim the 5th British Empire and Commonwealth Games in Canada, 1954, closed. And in accordance with tradition, I call upon the youth of the Commonwealth and British Empire to assemble in four years' time in Wales, there to celebrate the 6th British Empire and Commonwealth Games. May they display cheerfulness and concord so that the spirit of our family of nations may be carried on with ever greater eagerness 
courage and honor for the good of humanity and the peace of the world. This telecast of the British Empire and Commonwealth Games has been brought to you by Northern Electric. Remember, in home or industry, Northern Electric serves you best.